So we're here on what the locals call Waysque uh, Beach, uh, Waysque Point. This is part of the Pogue Wilderness area, uh, seashore. So some great beach, really cool beach here. Now very popular as well. This area is, um, or this part we're on Chappaquiddick on a little, a little island just off of Martha's Vineyard, off the coast of Massachusetts, off of Cape Cod. And this area, or areas around here were first started to be uh, protected by uh, private groups um, in 1891. This is the trustees of reservations group. Over time, they've been adding additional lands. This area around here started to be acquired and protected in 1959, and additional pockets have been added ever since. So a really interesting story here. So a lot of heavy use here on this coast, on this beach uh, front property here, this beach, this coastal zone. A lot, you can see right here, that somebody was just driving here yesterday. Uh, this whole area um, is, is uh, it's allowed to have vehicles on here. So you buy a permit that's $200 a year, and you can come down whenever you want. So on, on heavy days, on, on uh, big, say, uh, 4th of July weekend, there's supposedly something on the order of about 600 or 700 cars parked here on the beach and then the concomitant people. So who knows, 10,000 people or so here packed cheek to jowl up and down. And we we're just speaking with the ranger. He was saying that, so there's 600 cars and 30 tow trucks because you have to deflate your tires so that they actually don't sink in the sand. And a lot of people don't do that properly. A lot of people get stuck. So we have some, some very heavy use here in terms of uh, mechanized uh, movement on the beach also a lot of visitation and the other thing if we go over here what you can see is we have a huge problem with um, coastal bluff erosion so this area used to be a relatively uh, shallow drop from the vegetated oak woodland and pineland uh, forest up there down to the dunes down to the beach but um, for the last many years and apparently it really started getting bad around 2010 um, it's been eroding and so you can see this whole bluff area is the target of high during high tides when we have a storm activity uh, the waves will break right up against the bottom of that uh, that that sandy cliff this whole island is very sandy so they've actually installed a uh, walkway over there that was just this year and we were just looking at it and the, the footings themselves are beginning to erode away even just in this first year so a lot of erosion all sand they put that in so that people can walk are directed to a safe place to walk down the cliff they're not doing uh, dangerous or or erosion causing cuts um, but nevertheless it's a huge challenge and so with sea level rise with the the climate change situation that we're in this whole face is going to be evolving quite rapidly probably over the next few decades um, so anyways that's that, that's way squee beach here in massachusetts really cool beach a lot of interesting geomorphology here back beaches lagoons uh, in this case, micro dunes, but a lot of the other places on the island have some really nice, intact, robust dune communities. It's a really interesting place to look at coastal processes here in Massachusetts.